solved in the in the Bible. Let me tell you about the last day I went to church. I went to church actually before the last time. No, I'm lying. Before I went in in Limpopo. I went to this church. Uh, it's the same church, Seventh Day Adventist. I was a, I was a preacher there, but I was not a pastor, just a preacher, mm -hmm. because I knew the Bible, I understood it. And then um, we went to a workshop in university. It was a church, but more like a workshop because they were just teaching about the music only, and they tell us that some instrumentals they 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 are demonic, and some songs belongs to the devil. They were giving us example with the song called Shumaya. And, you know, and I love the song, you know, I'm a I was a dancer by that time. And they like, all the time I've been dancing to the devil's music. So they tell us that so those songs, now where they bought me the West, it's when they say the song that says, when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. They say it's, 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 it's motivated by the evil spirit because of the instrumentals are these. And I'm like, oh, you wait there. When I listen, it depends who's listening to what in a song. The song says when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. And you say because of the instrumentals, they go, no. It doesn't matter how and where I receive the message. It's how I take it in. Because the very same Bible you read, Jesus says that it's not about what gets inside your body. You understand? It's about what's coming out. You understand? We all are learning in different ways. You learn from seeing things and you're going to tell us, this is what I saw. We learn from hearing things. I hear things and I say, this is what I know because this is what I've had. And you're going to tell me that me listening to the words that are saying when Jesus say yes, because of the instrumentals, the words lose meaning. That's crazy. That's stupid. I'm not going to believe that. And because I was arguing, they said, maybe they, they just saw me as someone who doesn't belong to that church. And I'm like, Definitely, I don't belong to the church and I don't belong nowhere. Now, I belong to God and God, I believe that God, God is creation. That's my personal belief. God is creation. And if God is creation, I am created in his image. As the Bible says in the Genesis chapter 1, verse, 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 what? verse 25, when he created a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. And then he said, let us create men yeah, in okay. our own image. So I'm the image of God. So image means imitation. So image, imitation, imagination as well. So this is the picture. Mm -hmm. So this is the likeness. It means the likeness. Okay, so I am like God. Can I create? Yes, my name is Lalas and I'm a musician, so I create songs, I create poems. I create food because I can plant food or I can cook food. You understand? So, okay, am I, I'm God. So we are all God because we can create, we are not, we are different from the animals. A lion doesn't create anything. It depends on something that has been created already. That's why as much as it's the king of the jungle, it cannot put a human being in a cage in the zoo. Human, even if, if, even if I'm afraid of the lion, I'm the one who's going to put it in the cage in the zoo and call other humans to go and look at it. So I'm saying that God doesn't even stay at church. And God is each and every one of us who believes in God What's and also two or three people are gathered his name is there, okay? Definitely. And God is also a collective. So do you name. see do you see the church as business? I see church as business. Um, I see church as a fashion parade nowadays because people go in church for lifestyle. My church is better than yours. That means it's a lifestyle. There's something you're comparing. When we talk about church, church and God, we shouldn't be comparing.